While we were scouring the country for Grant tank parts for our restoration, one of our suppliers and good friends put us onto what is probably the last great barn find for armoured vehicles in Australia. This was an opportunity too good to miss. So Daryl and I got our woolies out and travelled to the south of Australia in Victoria to find what treasures we could uncover. And what we found was, well, you'll see for yourself. Hi, I'm Kurt from Oz Armour and welcome to Workshop Wednesday. All right, give us a wave. <laughs> <laughs> it was early on a balmy 23 degree winter's morning in Cairns when Daz and I set off on our 3,000 kilometre journey to the frozen deep south of Australia. Sure can. After hours of flying and driving, we finally made it to Parker Brothers Earth Moving. You are not going to believe the treasures we were able to find there. John, is it? John, how are you, mate? Good. Glad to meet you. Your name? Daryl. G'day, Daryl. How are you? Yeah, good to meet you, mate. This is your place, is it? Yeah, yeah, no, we've been here for a while. Yeah? I'm John O. Parker. This is my dad, Robert Parker's collection. We've collected this sort of since I've been growing up. Well, we had a Stuart tank forever, like since I was a kid, which was awesome. We had a ferret scout car like this one here, and it sort of grew from there. All around Victoria, wherever he could find something, he'd go. Farmers, in the bush where they've turned them into logging machines and that sort of stuff. Anywhere where there was a whisper, he'd be there. I don't know many people that have done this sort of thing. What's your favourite then? I'd have to say the Stuart, because I grew up like riding around in it, going for a fang, you know. <laughs> Fanging it. Yeah, this is it. Hasn't good. been driven for a while. Yeah. A lot of good memories in it. Oh, yeah. Me and my cousins, we'd all be climbing into that. We'd hear it start up and we'd be coming out of the woodwork. Do <laughs> <laughs> you want to have a look around? Oh, mate, we would love to have a look around. That's the I've game. been given a little sneak peek of yeah. some photos, but yeah, I'd bet. love to see what's there. Well, let's go yeah. for a walk. Now, me and uh, Chad uh run it and my two boys work here as well which is nice oh great so like three or four generations yeah have been involved yeah in. that's right fantastic so yeah now we're we're chipping away and the boys loving it and yeah <laughs> gives us somewhere to go every day <laughs> oh look i didn't even see it in under there it's not junk mate it's rusty gold Rust oh how good is this how long's it been sitting here john oh, i reckon we put it here probably in the late 80s mid to late 80s Oh, fantastic. Yeah. What's at the front of it? This is a massive add-on piece of armour. That's fantastic. That was, and it's still got original Australian Army markings on it too. Yeah. Does it really? Yeah. Like the actual unit markings. Yeah. So Jason, Jason the assistant manager, ex-Tank uh, Force, so he can look all this stuff up. Right. Oh, this door's open. Yeah, one door's open, in. one door's shut. Let yeah. me open the other one. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Something's nesting in here. Anything we've we've made and we, <laughs> that, that that we now have. <laughs> yeah, just it's always the way. Eh? Oh, it's it's got a little toolbox here that we can use and different things. It it just shows us where some things go that we weren't certain of. 
because the Australian Army modified ours a bit different to the uh, US grants. What sort of things did they modify? Well, we changed an ammo box here. We changed it to a 75 mil, I believe. Some of the different fittings, and we upgraded the guns. So we had a couple of extra different bits and pieces put on the guns for uh, sighting and, and uh, ranging. So it's just good to see parts that are still in the original position. It's fantastic. What a find. Oh. This Grant tank is in excellent condition, apart from the tree growing through the engine bay. Minor detail. Oh, is this that ammo box thing with the legs on it? The wine rack. There's a tree that's grown out sideways and is lifting the vehicle up over here. Now. Oh, what? Cut that down. Yeah. Cut. Can we get around there? Oh, oh this, this thing here? Yeah. Mate, in here, this is absolutely brilliant. At the back here, it's got the radio rack. There's a lot of other little boxes that are still mounted to the wall. It's like it's just been taken off by the farmers. Yeah. and put to one side because it wasn't necessary for That's the farm right. vehicle. These were the sort of the first things got taken off and sort of left in, in the paddock, you know. Because they don't, they didn't really need them, did they? No, they wanted to cut them down, turn them into tractors and bulldozers, yeah. things like that. At the sales, when they sold these, yep. the scrappies would be out the front of the gate saying, we'll buy the turret off your tank <laughs> as they were leaving. <laughs> We've got some track here too, look at this. Still got the rubber on it. Two sets of track, fantastic. We, we better catch up with Jono. Yeah, Jeff. Hey, quick, Jono, run. run. <laughs> is that the kid's seesaw, is it? Yeah, Jono? it looks like it, doesn't it? <laughs> a, I think that goes over the front. It is, it's a cover, a gun cover, yeah. yeah. Something like that. Yeah. And that's an original one. Yeah. What, was it, what was that for, Daryl? Keep the weather out and du du dust and weather. It's got clips. You have another gun out here, Daryl. Yeah, it? 30 caliber, yeah. Right. 30 caliber gun. What's it mounted on there? Is that like a training thing? Yeah, yeah, maybe it. it is. That's how it was at Dad's farm when, when I you know, brought it all back to here. That was just in his shed. So that's just another oh. item he's collected. Somebody's mounted it at some stage. That's, that makes it actually a great display just like that. This is the longer What's barrel, the is it? There? It looks, yeah, I think it yeah, is. Yeah, that might be the M3, yeah. The M2's two's are slightly short and got a bit of a, a bell on the end of it. Right. That's fantastic. Still in its, its mount. We, I don't know if you, we had a bit of trouble fitting ours. We had to put it in, put it out. But mate, this is fantastic. This isn't a shed, this is an Aladdin's cave because oh, I've just yeah. spotted over here yeah. another gun. <laughs> what? Oh, oh. oh, okay. That is, that's the shorter barrel, but with the, the, the weight or counterbalance, whatever you want to call it. Counterweight. Counterweight, look. And another mantlet. <laughs> yeah, looks all... Is that a tote ring, guy? Yeah. That's a tote ring. Pretty sure that's a grant ring. For it a grant? Oh, this is fair. This has got... This is new. <laughs> if this is new, I'll stop <laughs> on it. Have a look. Front, 10 degrees left. Yep. 20 degrees left. Oh, my, I don't know if it's degrees. That's, that's been leaning up against that wall ever since I can remember. So, really? A long time. <laughs> the, most tanks don't have any more because they've just been either worn off, weathered off, yep. thrown away, destroyed. That is fantastic. Oh. <laughs> There's a oh, another... piece of the 75 barrel yep. there. Yep. Right, yeah. Oh. Not big. There, the hatch is off. There, the hatch is off that turret over there. Yeah, all oh, right, yeah, perfect, yeah. Yep. Oh, mate, with that gun, with that other 37 and, and those hatches, that gun, that tank's almost complete. Oh. Oh, here's a few bits and pieces. Oh, a door. What side door is that, a left or a right? That's going to be a right hand. Right hand door. Yep, it's got the latches, everything. Well, we might actually just tidy that door up and bolt that straight on our tank. Beautiful. Nice. Mate, it, that'd, that'd be, be fantastic. the fantastic, yeah. Oh, there. there we go. There's the other side door. Left and right. Yeah. That is a perfect example of a farmer. Yeah. Cutting ripper, ripper blades out. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, look at the shape. Yeah. So I've, I've got the other piece over there. So he must have cut four tines out of both side plates off the yeah. Stuart. Grand yeah, engine hatches with the covers. Go. That's gold. They're armoured covers. I think that's an Australian... Uh, uh, modification too. I don't think okay. the Americans did them, but we did them. Right. Here's another mantlet, another hatch. I think you're nearly about to fall over a turret basket there. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, any bits in there that we don't have, Daryl? No, we have it now because I made it. <laughs> I had to make this vertical stand here, and now we have one. All this stuff that I'm seeing 
the, the doors with the hinges already on them. Yep. Absolutely brilliant. The hinge here is broken off here. So that's actually riveted and fixed to the, or bolted to the side of the tank. And then this one and that one are the actual engine hatch doors that open up. But we put armored covers on them. And these are two complete unmolested engine covers. Oh, and a bit of track. <laughs> oh, if you want to scramble over some of that Stewart track, I think there's some grand stuff behind it. Yeah. That'd be the track to have, I would have thought. Well, for mud and that, there's yeah. no grouses need with that. Yeah, yeah, that's right. A couple of uh, gearboxes in there if you're ever short of a grand tank gearbox. I think All really good stuff so far. Oh, but what Jono okay. showed us next was it's truly so spectacular. <laughs> Ma mate. What's sitting on top? You got you got stuff oh, stacked on top of a dingo on top of this one here and a little bit of a string. Right. But what's under it, those things are the best. That. That's it's another armoured cover. And you're kidding me. Oh no way. Yep. That's got grenade mesh still in place. Another Australian uh modification that we right. came up with okay. we put these mesh you can see it there in situ that is absolutely brilliant what was it for that we called it grenade mesh and it was basically to cover the hatches so grenades couldn't be dropped down hatches or things like that i cannot wait to get in there and see this grenade mesh mate because that is rare <laughs> as rock and all yeah, right. and you can hardly see it mate this is this is camouflage John Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> How are we going to get these things out, Jono? Oh, I guess just drag them out a bit later. <laughs> Give it a go. We use machines. So, yeah, we'll get the machines and <laughs> a couple of chainsaws, do a bit of pruning. No. Good, good thing of... you own a earth moving company, Jono, or we'd be buggered. Yeah. I know. <laughs> you could walk past this, Jono, and not even know yeah. it's here. This Unless... is. Not unless you knew what they were. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I've just spotted through there. I don't know if you can get this, but it's still got some of the original Australian Army or numbers on it. Like, I won't rub them because it looks like they're pretty... You can see that? There's some other writing there that's hard to make out. But this... <laughs> little venture in here. There's no lions, is there? Tigers? Look, look at the tree, oh, another man. tree. That's got heaps of stuff inside. When you reckon here, the 80s, late 80s. Mid, mid to late 80s, I reckon, yeah. Got these fittings and we didn't know what they were. Right. Well, yeah, we thought they were for farm stuff. Farm stuff, but, but look at this. I guess this is where they were hanging their tools on here. Yeah, well, this was an ax. That's the blade of an ax. Yep. And up there is a sledgehammer that goes across there. Yeah, right. Yeah. But to see these fittings now on other tanks tells me that they're original to that tank. And there's your doors that we looked at before. There's your two doors. <laughs> oh, prove it, Jono. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> and look, at they oh, had a wow. shovel mounted on the, on the top oh, of that yeah. box. Yep. It's just awesome to actually see untouched parts that give us an indication. Here's more Australian Army markings. Yep. We, we, we were going to cut all that off. We, we were, tr yeah, we were going to do a bit more research, but then I, I'd probably always already made my mind up that we we're going to get rid of them. But now to see it there, yeah it tells me what they're for and you can see this this mesh thing is Jono, is your, is your pet tiger snake away yeah, from no, us? I put him to bed put him to bed like see that grill obviously it's a bit mashed up in that can you see where it's been damaged here and it's got <laughs> it's got a tow ball down to the back as well look but to see this stuff here now just is in confirms good, a lot confirms of stuff confirms everything you yeah. Know? yeah and 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 lets me know that i was wrong about that that, you know, don't take anything for granted in the, in the tank world. Ooh. For granted? Don't take it. <laughs> you got yeah. that, did you? <laughs> but also, look at these fixtures along here that we don't have. These 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 points here. We now have to try and work out what they those type of things for. It could be wire, rope, could be anything. Do not know. Oh. What's the chances that this uh, door will open, Jono? Let's break it. I saw the tank move there. Nice try, yeah. <laughs> I want to get in and look. The tree grown here, you got a forest. It really is. Yeah. All the bits that we've repaired, I can see. 
ammo box we did up. There's a beautiful one just sitting straight in there. Yep. Oh, that one we spent a lot of time on the other week. Okay, great. <laughs> I'm going to literally scream if this has the dash that we need. If one of these tanks has the dash we need, you'll hear me scream. Great. <laughs> Ryan probably will too. Yeah. yeah. How fantastic. So, and you awesome. tell me there's more. There's more stuff to look at. Let's go for a walk. All right, let's go for a walk. <laughs> oh. I'll have to take do, your heart pills tonight. Do you need a moment? <laughs> Pull aside this mudguard. Oh, don't tell me there's a mudguard. It's, it's almost straight. It's not too bad. <laughs> and a, and I, a hatch. Where would that hatch come from? I think that's the gunner's hatch up on top of it. Is the, it? Yeah, I reckon that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely okay. Definitely. But I had to make one of these, John. Really? I had that much and I had to make it. And then you just walk around and say, oh, there's a mudguard here. Yeah. <laughs> I only just met you. <laughs> right, so you're testing our friendship already. Oh, oh, another basket. Look at that. Basket. It's got a bit of gear in there. Oh, it's, it's got, got a guard lot. too. Yeah, it's got the guard. Oh, oh the generator. Is that generator? Another seat base. Well, you won't have to make that one. Yeah. <laughs> I've, got, I've got a sore cheek. What we came across next was both incredible and a little bit heartbreaking. Here's a nice little pack to go in the back of it. Is that got the... Oh, yeah, there's a couple of there. Wait, is this... Is this the actual twin diesel pack? I believe it is. This would be the actual motor setup that would have gone in a uh, diesel power grant, twin <laughs> diesel power grant. Okay, we can't tell Jesse. <laughs> We've... <laughs> hey, John. Is this what I think it is? Is that? Yeah, that, I'm pretty sure that's Grant. I think it's, is it a generator out of the turret? Or? That's the auxiliary generator for the turret. Right, there you go. We are chasing one of them. Is that what that little fuel tank was for? That's that little fuel tank that, that, that goes up underneath that, that angled corner. And that's that little, uh, it's a covered exhaust pipe that goes back into the engine bay. So, right. that, so the fumes weren't inside the tank. Yeah. Cause so, it, I think they're a home light. I don't know whether. Oh, I'm not sure. Well, well, yeah. If we dig it out, we'll have a look and see if yeah. there's a, a plate on it. But Definitely. That, that is exactly what we need for a hat brand. John, 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 come back. What did we come find? Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> oh. oh, look. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> this. This. Oh. <laughs> Another cover. Yeah. yeah. Mate. That's the bit we need. It? That's the side plate on one of the on the, one of the sides of the uh, 37 mil. We don't have one of them either. I was going to have to try and replicate that. But that that goes on the side with a gun. That one's got the little weight on it. This is this is all great stuff, mate. I think you have to have a word to your housekeeper. Look at that. <laughs> you know how they measure trees. You can measure how many years it is from the dust sitting there. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I reckon you're good. Look at it. Sediment samples. That's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that saves me a week, week's work. Yeah. It's fantastic. Daz, I think there's another one in the box just over here. You're kidding. Yep, that's it there. On another front mantle. Look. Yeah. These things are empty. <laughs> and there's a rotor. That bit goes in that bit. That's right. Yep. Oh, that's the bottom of the gun. I wondered what that was. Oh, there. that gives, makes the whole complete one. It's oh, the other so side yes. of it. So that's left and right there. That's the base, and that, that's a generator for the turret basket. Aladdin's cave, Jono's cave. You're about to hear me scream. Oh no. What's that, Jono? It's a dash. No. No. What can you do? What? <laughs> this, this little baby would have made life easy. Still got, look. Yeah, well. I'm, I'm sure that that's a taco, and, a and it must have engine hours on it. Yeah, sure. And that must be a speedo, got to be a speedo. There's those little globes, that engine, look, still shines. Oh, yeah. It's got a, that's a little uh, lens, a little red coloured lens. Look, oh, still got the data plate that we're missing, look. Oh, wow, yeah. Do these come with spiders? We, keep, we get the keys? No, no, I've, no, I've taken all the spiders out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. they're important. 
they they had to lock the 75 mil trunnion in. Oh yeah. Yeah. But that's on the 37 mil gun. That box. Right. On the top. Yeah. And that's the gear for yeah, it. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Goes in like that. That's right. You crank this. Yep. Up, up and down. <laughs> Yep. What, what, what's the plan, Jono? How are we going to tackle think, this? Um, I'll bring a 20 ton excavator home tonight off a job so that I've got a bit of heavy gear here. I'll get most of my guys here tomorrow to help so that when the trucks turn up, we can just start pulling them out of the forest and uh, <laughs> getting them on the trucks. Awesome. Yeah. How good. You've got a sharp chainsaw, Jono. I'll get one. <laughs>